Trials Rising sets up a whole new set of bike balancing and occasionally bone breaking stunt races. But these 11 essential tips should help you crash less often, win more races and earn XP fast. So let's jump in. Learn how to use physics. The key to success in Trials Rising is mastering physics and using it to your advantage to maneuver your bike around the tracks. Lean forwards when riding up steep slopes to stop yourself from tipping backwards and when you take off from a jump, lean back then flick forwards to nudge yourself ahead if you need to leap a bit further. As you land, try to be as flat to the surface as possible to get back into a stable position and minimize momentum loss from suspension compression. Apply the brakes sparingly. Rather than constantly tapping the brakes, you're generally better off managing your speed by easing off the throttle and keeping your momentum in a smooth motion. Your brakes really aren't needed, for the most part, just keep your rear wheel in contact with the surfaces as much as possible, as this is where your acceleration and control will come from. Slow down to speed up. Okay, so that may sound counterintuitive in a game that's all about racing, but bear with me. Some tracks feature huge jumps that can give you plenty of airtime, but may result in you losing valuable seconds as you fall back to earth. You can often achieve better time on a track by easing off the gas or even dabbing the brakes to drop off the end of a big ramp, which will allow you to land quicker and hammer the throttle to get you back up to speed. How to perform the perfect flip Some contracts will require you to perform a certain number of backflips or front flips, which are a couple of the most impressive but trickiest skills to pull off. To get started, either lean backwards or forwards just before you leave a ramp, then keep holding to lean in that direction to maintain the flip. The longer you hold it, the faster your rotation speed will get, so ease off accordingly to control your spin. In advance of your landing, push in the opposite direction to slow your rotation, then make fine adjustments by leaning forwards or backwards to nail the landing. There is no best bike. The game will often recommend you a certain bike for the track you're about to play, but it's worth considering if the course is based on speed or more technical tricks and experimenting with different options available. Complete the tutorials. Early in the game, you'll be given the option to enroll in the University of Trials, where Professor Fat Shady will take you under his wing to learn new techniques and skills or refresh your knowledge. Completing these tutorials will really benefit you when taking on some of the more challenging tracks, plus you get big XP rewards for each lesson you score well on. Learn from the best. If you're struggling to get a great time on a track or even making it to the finish line, then don't stress as help is at hand. Go to the leaderboards for the track, hit the prompt to jump to the top, select a player you want to learn from and then choose watch replay. Not only will this show you their route through the track, but the diagram in the bottom left corner of the screen will show you their stick movements and when they were accelerating or braking. Watch and learn, then play the track again and try and put those actions into practice. Rack up XP from medals and contracts. There are two main ways of getting XP. The first is by earning medals for beating the target times on each track, with more XP being granted by the higher medal. With more XP being granted, the higher the medal is. The other way is by completing contracts for sponsors, which will regularly pop up when you start a track. Don't stress about skipping a contract or failing it once you've accepted it, as it will still be there for you next time when you visit the track. The Ubisoft Club has an additional sponsor to unlock. If you've got some units on your account then you should definitely pay the Ubisoft Club a visit from the home menu as there are exclusive rewards available to unlock. One of them is the legendary Ubisoft sponsor which you can purchase to get access to new contracts. These Ubisoft sponsor contracts offer unique rewards to add to your customization options as well as the extra trial coins and XP. You can sell duplicate or unwanted customization items. 
Every time you level up, you'll receive a gear crate, but sometimes you'll get duplicate items. But the good news is that you can sell them for a profit. In your garage, go to the appropriate section of the rider customization or bike customization menus, then select the item you want and sell it for trials coins. These can then be spent on unlocking other items or purchasing new gear crates. Look for secrets and collectibles. Throwing the bike in reverse at the starting line obviously won't do you any good when trying to set a new best time or chase those coveted medals. But if you don't at least try to push your bike backwards, you'll miss out on tons of easter eggs, and maybe even a secret or two. You can also go exploring at any point when you're riding. By hitting triangle or Y, you deliberately bail out and launch yourself off the bike. When you're flying through the air, you can use lean controls to adjust your trajectory. You can brake or accelerate, this will cause you to curl up or stretch out, while holding triangle or Y will allow you to grab onto obstacles, which you can then swing off to travel further. So there you have it, there's our 11 essential tips for Trials Rising. I hope you enjoyed it and make sure to check out our other videos. Thank you.